Chief Masumbo was the chief of a little village deep in the African jungle. His people were a peaceful, happy tribe, and they lived simply together. Masumbo had a drum. It was made of fine antelope hide, and on holidays, he would sound his drum and all the men would sing together. One day, strange men came suddenly with guns and whips. They shot those who tried to fight back and captured all the tribe. And the people were led down to the sea and put aboard a sailing vessel. Masumbo's drum had been smashed, but he had snatched up the antelope hide. Folded small, it lay beneath his head for a pillow. In the darkness, Masumbo sang his farewell to his home. Umba da masumba ke umba. Day after day they sailed on. Many of the people died, and all were sick. There came a day at last when they landed. Chained together, they were brought to a great plantation, and there they were set to work as slaves. This cotton on a pickin' so bad, this cotton on a pickin' so bad, going to clean all over this farm. I woke up this morning, that cotton was high. I work in that cotton until I die. Mm-hmm. There they learned a new song, a song of long days of work and little rest. The antelope hide that was Masumbo's drum was hung up on the wall of a cabin to keep out the wind. Picking so bad, this cotton wanna pickin' so bad, wanna clean all over this farm. But there came a day when slavery was ended. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom, Lord, oh, freedom over me. And before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. A new law said no man might own another man. And the slaves were set free. Masumbo was too old now to move. He gave his son John the old antelope hide that had been his drum and four dollars he had saved. And John went away to a great city called New Orleans to begin his life as a free man. Freedom, oh, freedom, Lord, oh, freedom over me. And before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. John found that life was not easy for an ex-slave. One day, he went into a cafe to get some bread and coffee with his last pennies. There were some men there playing music. The pianist asked John if he could play the drum. So they gave him a chair, which had no seat, and he tied the drum head over the frame so that it was tight. And he touched the drum with his fingers. That beating was like the beating of a sad heart far from home. Soon, the other men began to play with him. They played their own sadness and their joy at freedom. Something of the old songs was in their music as the drum remembered them. And something of the work songs. And something of the freedom songs.
John Stade. And the music he and his friends made in New Orleans traveled up the Mississippi River and is heard to this very day in every corner of the land.